so um jim did his stream on the, i think the 31st uh and it was a year in, in retrospect and it was there's multiple parts to it and i've only seen the the last bit so he had like an open mic night where he just invited people to yell and uh apparently it was very emotional and jim called it gay and kind of awkward then he then he went over his like s medical history though the thing is I, I i heard a lot of the medical history stuff i still don't know why he thinks he's going to die can the, i apologize if that's insensitive to me to ask but what what has happened most recently to make him think i have to stop streaming now because it's like it's not possible for me to to continue. I, I didn't pick up on what that answer was. Uh, he has cancer, but I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know what, what he didn't really explain. Maybe he, intentionally, he didn't say like what it was that's stopping him from streaming. Just good. He's getting weaker. Okay. Um, so I heard the, the final bit, the, the last couple hours of the stream where he just kind of did like a year in review. Uh, it's kind of what you expected. He put like pitted people up against each other. It was, it was a typical year in review kind of stream. But then at the end, he's, he, uh, does two things interesting or at least interesting enough to like repeat them independently. Uh, he said that he respected my fight to keep my sight up, which was very flattering. Uh, many people sent this to me as soon as it happened. Of course, I appreciate the, the support. Um, and I, I mean, again, it, it's not, it's not anything special that I do. It's just that I just repeatedly say no. I observe where the boundaries are and I repeatedly say no, and I do what I can. And I think anybody can do what I, what I do. Anybody. Uh, with the gumption can can say i'm not gonna like let people um dict terrorize me into submission basically so i do appreciate the support though and he said that and this i assume is more of a joke he he passed on his mantle of i guess like the the crown of of medicare to his heirs and I say it's it's kind of a joke because I, I assume it's tongue in cheek. It's like it's kind of gay to to say like here's your heir apparent for the Medicare throne, um, and the the picks are strange. He he picked Pippa Pipkins, the anime VTuber, and Ranbot, and I assume that he's just showing his his favorite. VTuber, what what do they call those? The the Moshis, Oshis, Oshanas, Oshanas. What's your what's the name for the favorite VTuber? Explain this to me, chat. Oshi, okay, it's an Oshi. It's his Oshi, and then uh, I guess Rambot is also his Oshi because I think Rambot also does like a VTuber shit where thing where he like plasters his he plasters his entire screen. In like anime girls holding like NSDAP flags. It's very strange. Um, I would say that Ranbot is probably one of the most cringe people that currently stream. I I have no I and what's really shocking to me is that people take him seriously and like put up stalwart defenses of him on like the Fediverse and shit. I really, really do not fucking understand how anyone watches Rambot. So I am forced to assume that he, he doesn't want to have an error. He's just going to shout out his Oshi, the rabbit, and also pick Rambot for, for the, for laughs. Um, because Rambot is a truly embarrassing specimen and I have no idea how he's avoided killing himself. I think that the only reason why Flynn, uh, Rambot has managed not to kill himself is, uh, He's too stupid to feel shame. It's kind of like with Ralph. Ralph is too stupid to feel shame. Actually, Ralph feels shame all the time. But he just responds by being Ralph. 
Rambot literally, I think the, the ammo box dented his skull and injured the part of the brain that feels shame and introspection. And now he's just like listlessly floating through life talking about pregnant anime girls and how to save the white race by being uh, into cartoon pornography. It's truly a, a bizarre person. No, uh, that says nothing about Jim himself. It is, it's kind of strange to me to see, because when I was like young and so, and social media was just starting to be a thing, MySpace peaked in 2008. I remember when the news stories came out about internet grave sites, like memorializing Facebook pages, memorializing MySpace pages. It, it was really weird to hear about because it's like, these things are so new. This technology is so recent and it's such a side piece to life that you're you're hearing about web pages that outlive people. And at the time that was like bizarre. It was unheard of. It was or rather it was very novel because the technology just came into place. And here we are. Um the by the way, the internet was said to be born on January first, nineteen eighty three. That's the official uh, decided birth date for the internet. So the internet, I just turned 30. The internet just turned 40 and it's showing its age because now we have people who are coming and going, not just from public life online, but uh, from life entirely. And your memories of them are online pages and streams and their body of work and, uh, that medium. And it's, it's, uh, kind of strange to think about. It's a little bit concerning. It's because you realize Oh, yeah, even though we're all digital, we still all die. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Um, sort of a tangent, I don't know. Um, I, I know a lot of... I, no, I want to phrase I watched him since Internet Aristocrat. Uh, I like his streams. He's funny. Um, he, he did his best when he was sort of like riffing off people. And... Uh, If he is dying, uh, a lot of people will miss him, and uh, I'll miss his streams too, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I should have thought this uh, before I started talking about it, because now I'm going to either sound like I'm being too sentimental or I'm being uh, in, in uh, inappropriately dismissive, and people are going to be mean. I'm not going to cry. Okay, listen. He's just a dude. I liked his streams and the, the difficult part is addressing the fact that people feel very strongly about him without trying to be dismissive about it. Crying. Oh my God. People are, are obscene. Uh, I'm here's here. You know what? Jim might hear this. Jim, show your fucking face. Uh, you, you, I, I, I know for a fact that we fucking got your name years ago and you lied about it or you dismissed it or you made a joke about it and i remember clear as day it was posted on cow fucking years ago the picture of you uh, on your dui that got posted to cow literally like 10 years ago and everybody forgot about it because it was unsubstantiated by the person who posted it i i have never been able to find this picture of this dui thing and when it got found when it when zed kiss posts the the docs and said that he has a dui on record in this county if someone emails the sheriff's office you'll be able to get a copy of the um, mugshot so and nobody did it nobody had the balls to request this mugshot and then immediately after zed that made that post it disappeared it was squashed because it was so old someone someone after that went out um requested for that information to be squashed online and then nobody could request that mugshot i guarantee you that was the picture that was posted on cow in 2010 or whatever the fuck and I, if i saw it i would recognize it immediately if i saw if i saw the face i would know immediately i i the the world needs to know put it in your will direct <clears throat> Jade, to to answer this question once and for all, that's what. Leave Jim alone. <laughs> I just need to know. I was right. Zed was right. Zed, poor Zed. 
His entire thing was doxing people, and then he gave away the dox to this fucking Princess Tinkle Pants, whatever the fuck, on, on the forum. And that idiot hurt the site's reputation, made poor Zed Kiss look like a fool, a darn fool, and we never even got to find the mugshot because nobody would put in the email to get the mugshot. That's what's that you want to talk about what makes me sad about the missed opportunities. We they had it, they had it, and they fucked it up. And if I if I had had the balls to just be like, I don't care about your internet daddy, I'm going to get to the bottom of this, I'm going to be more personally involved because this is this is of interest to people, then it wouldn't have happened. The deepest regret of my life, I'll tell you how it is. Josh, he's dead. <laughs> He's not dead. He didn't. He didn't like. He didn't like. In OBS, right there, and then the the snowball falls out of his hand, and he whispers as as it shatters on the floor. Gamergate two, and then the 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 window flies open, and all the snow starts pouring out. That's not what happened. Okay, listen. Okay. He shattered into dust. All right, all right, all right. Enough of this. Enough of this. Um, I okay. I I don't have anything against him. I like him. I found a lot of his streams funny. Um, his old stuff with Gamergate was, I mean, like everyone had a little bit of. Uh, everyone knows who he is. So it's like uh, Captain Sparrow. I'm like you're the worst streamer I've ever seen. Well, you have seen me. Oh, and Keffel's grave dancing was another thing too. Keffel saying that he, here's, here's a fun thing. I'm going to give this attention. Um, Keffel's is a fucking retard. We all know this, right? Keffel's is a fucking moron. There is a crazy Asian lady who runs a forum that is like a a Kiwi light. And it is, (laughs) it is dedicated in name to Medicare. It's supposed to be like a revival of the Medicare like hell site that Jim got his name from Keffels has content on this forum. And it's a very small forum that only a couple people post on. And I say lady in quotes. I don't, I cannot confirm or deny if this is a troon or whatever the fuck they claim to be a lady. I'm going with that. I think they're Asian. Um, they run a website that seals the name Medicare in both in honor of Jim and also to revive the reputation of this dead hell site from whatever the fuck way back when. They have content on Keffels that dead maidens Keffels, whatever the fuck that means. Birth names Keffels. That's a funny one. It's not a dead name, it's a birth name. Uh, maybe, is that like an intentional juxtaposition in that language? That's what you were called when you were born, motherfucker. Anyways, that content exists on this website. Jem has zero to do with this. Jim has nothing, not no to do with this fucking website this dude lady asian person of distinction decides to borrow the name set up a hell site and put shit on it to try and get a, a community going keffels finds this because i assume that that keffels googles his name fucking constantly found this website called medicare and then decided to announce after medicare says he's dying that Jim has a thread on on Keffels on his website that Medicare has literally zero to do with. And that is just how fucking stupid and reckless all of these fucking trannies are. Every single one of them is that fucking dumb. And it's like you're you're grave dance grave dancing on somebody over um like something they didn't even fucking do because you're too stupid to even figure out who owns this website. You don't even give a fuck. You, that's the main thing. You could, I'm sure Keffels has the IQ, the brain cells rattling around between, you know, the brain damage, the gray matter scarring from the HRT injections to figure out who owns this website because it takes a cursory glance to figure out who the admins are on the admin page. Um, but they just don't have the gumption to do it. They don't give a fuck. They're just going to say whatever comes to mind because they're emotional, retar- you know, beasts that they don't actually think anything through. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think I can can beleaguer this anymore. Um, I wish everybody. I, I don't wish harm on anybody. I wish him the best. Uh, I hope that whatever happens uh, happens as 
uh, peacefully as possible. And of course, it, the the main thing that sucks. I'll tell you this: if you want to talk about um, things to actually be, be disappointed about, the fact that people are going to like like Kethel's people handling this is like a great thing because it's all it's all like stupid fucks you hate. Like Ralph, I told you a thousand times, Medica, I'd piss on your grave. No, I can't come piss on your grave because then I might get served by by Mr. Vickers if I come up to the United States to visit your grave there in Minnesota. He might be uh, watching your grave to make sure I don't piss on it and try to serve me papers. It's it's all oh yeah, and true and shiny. <laughs> Couples complaining that Medica coined the term true sign. It's like. All the people who shouldn't be happy are happy, and I don't like that. I want these people to not be happy. Oh, I didn't even talk about Ralph. You know what? Fuck it. I don't want to talk about Ralph. I really don't want to. Ralph um, is having a... Ralph's Christmas... Here, okay. You think your Christmas was bad with your relatives. Ralph had a big tard fight with Pansu's um, father. And now uh, he, he has basically isolated Pansu from his, her entire extended family and has told Pansu's, Pansu's sister fucks a Puerto Rican. And he said that uh, she should bring that Puerto Rican to come kick his ass the next time he's in the United States. So we might see Pansu's sister's Puerto Rican boyfriend beat the fuck out of Ralph if he goes to Ralph Mania. He has he says he's gonna have like armed guards at his stupid indie wrestling event this month because he wants to make sure that nobody serves him while he's there and he has to keep out this livid Puerto Rican who's gonna face stomp his fucking stupid ass. Um so when that happens, it'll be instant karma. Uh Medicare may be dead by the time it happens, so maybe I'll I'll do a special, special stream. Uh, you can say Medicare's dead all you want, but you're the one that got your face curb stomped by a Puerto Rican at a shitty indie wrestling venue. And that'll be fun. And that's it. I'm not talking about Ralph anymore. I can't. I, I've, I've been going on for two two hours. It's going to be three hours. And that's the, that's basically the gist. Ralph is continuing to burn as many bridges as possible, and it's very funny, as always. So, um, in honor of Medicare, uh, I will be reading super. <laughs> I will be reading super chats. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.